Not to mention the large number of statue legions he has. What makes him stand out even more is that the skills of previous enemies can be replicated, but this time it shows that the hand level gap is too great. The skills cannot be replicated. Muhan sits on top of a giant, sipping on his wine. Although countless human challengers have fought me, you are the first person to summon me with a key. I am willing to send out my entire army to battle with you. But where's your army, human? It's terrifying. This stone army is strict in level and stack layer by layer. Just looking at them makes one's heart and guts split. Muhan Statue Legion. 100,000 people. Kong Jin Hyuk puts his hands in his pockets. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You've given me so much face. So, I don't feel embarrassed to show some gratitude. As for my army, Kong Jin Hyuk summoned the first chessboard that he got from the black market auction. Press it down with one hand. Didi, the chessboard has been activated. Instantaneously, a huge square formation appears from under feet. Black and white alternating. Didi, you have summoned 2,851 condensed magic chess pieces. Soldiers, Line up! Countless chess soldiers appear in front of Kong Jin Hyuk. Muhan laughed. This is interesting, but your chess soldiers seem to be very small. What's the use of this? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't be impatient, General. Let's take a look at what this is, he said, pressing a button from his backpack. That's right, this is what he prepared earlier, when he was fighting Anubis. Giant pills! In the next moment, the pills fall wildly onto the chess pieces. And then, the horse bishop and other chess pieces all grow wildly and become giant gigantic. Muhan strokes his wine glass. He hasn't met such an opponent in a long time. I admit, you are different from the humans that have come here so far. Kong Jin Hyuk puts his hands in his pockets. That's right. Knight, guard, king, bishop. The giant chess pieces protect him in the center. This is the chess army. Come on, Muhan. Let's have a beautiful battle between the two armies. He leads the charge with his right hand spear. A fine horse in his lap, radiant and full of spirit. Muhan, quickly dismount and come fight. Muhan furrowed his brow. Are you, a human, worthy of my personal attention? Kong Jin Hyuk laughed. You're nothing but a weakling who can't climb higher. You're just a bound spirit of the third floor, pretending to be something you're not. The bosses guarding each floor of the Tower of Trials exert control and influence over their respective floors, but they can also climb the tower and expand their power just like players can. Kong Jin Hyuk's words were a clear insult. Muhan laughed loudly. You truly are an arrogant human. Do you think I'm not strong enough to go to the fourth floor? Kong Jin Hyuk gave no face. Yeah, keep laughing. If you don't have the strength, don't come around here. Muhan finally put away his playful attitude and stood up. All right, all right. Since you're making so much noise, I'll let you see how ridiculous your soldiers are in front of the absolute military disparity between you and me. First squad, fall in. Infantry, forward. At that, the soldiers with raised shields charge forward wildly. Kong Jin Hyuk saw clearly that Muhan had sent out the first infantry division to test him. So, Kong Jin Hyuk raises his long spear. White suit fluttering in the wind. Come on! International chessboard ability activated. Didi, all chess pieces on the field. Attack and defense amplification of 30%. Kong Jin Hyuk quickly gives orders. Soldiers on both sides advance three steps. First squad, all soldiers, give me shield defense. Ha! Ah! Infantry raise their iron shields, then extend their spears straight forward to form a defense against cavalry formation. Blue magic surging. Infantry tightly together. That's right, facing Muhan's charge. Kong Jin Hyuk chooses defense. First squad infantry, iron bucket formation. Bam! The terracotta armies quickly rush to the front of the formation. Infantry's battle is brutal. Shields collide. Although Muhan's terracotta armies are enhanced by abilities, black armored infantry are not weak. Resist stubbornly, not retreat an inch. Persist to the end. Infantry formation resists. Subsequent support follows up. All right, it's now. Give me shooting. Bang, bang, bang. Crossbows burst fire. Shooting is from the rear teams. Arrows rain towards the terracotta armies. Pa, pa, pa. Suddenly these clay soldiers were shot to pieces. They quickly react. Raise shield to defend against the barrage of arrows. But this is exactly what Kong Jin Hyuk anticipated. Mage soldiers out. The Illusion Table Archbishop Army raised their magic wands. Fire magic. Burn. These fire snakes sweep from underfoot. Heat rising. With those terracotta army soldiers raising their shields. It's like 
like a live oven. This combination quickly explodes with a chemical reaction. Bang! A flame dragon rises. Terracotta Army First Squad perished, but Muhan is laughing sinisterly. Above his head, the emblem is shining. In an instant, my first squad is annihilated. Interesting. With a big wave, he gave a cold order. Second squad, third squad, line up in advance. The second squad is all elite monsters three or four meters tall. Far from being comparable to infantry, Khan Jin Hyuk personally leads 1,000 cavalry, killing into the disordered formation from the flank. DD, system prompt. Cavalry squad has activated skill. Wedge formation, increased 200% damage. Kill, cavalry follow me. Charge, full army assault. The target is the second squad's three meter giant. With a thunderous sound, it was the sound of the terracotta armies bursting. Kong Jin Hyuk's spear moves forward, like a whirlwind, drilling into the enemy formation. Wherever he goes, it's like a dragon piercing through clouds. Muhan ponders for a moment. This guy seems to have a lot of command experience, not to mention the smooth transition between offense and defense. He can also command while personally charging and killing. It's a perfect combination of a general and a handsome talent. But soon he noticed a gap. This is undoubtedly a huge loophole. It looks extremely tempting, but it's undoubtedly full of traps, like a poison apple. Muhan immediately activates the skill weakness identification. DD system prompt as long as the crown of the chessboard is destroyed all the chess pieces actions will be stopped HM it looks like all that's needed is to destroy this kid's crown then this so-called chess army will self-destruct but in the next second Muhan burst into laughter ha 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 humans are really smart I said how can you make such a low-level mistake only to see in the center of the chess army a pair of high heels step down and the person wearing the crown is Khan Jin Hyuk's ace the vampire Empire ancestor Alice with her in the scene. Kong Jin Hyuk's chess army is naturally safe and sound. Muhan sneered. Kong Jin Hyuk, you deliberately left a loophole in the main camp to lure me in and also let the vampire ancestor wear a crown. It's obvious that it's a trap, but I want to step on this trap anyway. Immediately, Muhan shouted, General, give me up. Kong Jin Hyuk also noticed it quickly. The huge warrior in Terracotta Army that rushed from a distance. The current battlefield is as follows. Ancestor Alice as the queen guards the main camp. And Kong Jin Hyuk leads the cavalry to charge. Want to catch bandits? First catch the ringleader. And Muhan also thinks the same. Send a general to find Alice's trouble. Little Khan shouted to the soldiers. Calm down. Believe in Alice. The opposing army is empty. Continue to charge. On this side of Kong Jin Hyuk's formation, Muhan Muhan's general also killed those chess infantrymen and threw away their helmets and armor. The clergyman quickly used flame magic to support. A loud bang smashed the arm, but still unable to resist the charge of the warrior and terracotta army generals. And then those warrior and terracotta army raised infantry as a hand grenade, then fiercely thrown out flying towards Khan Jin Hyuk's formation. Bang, bang, bang. The sound of explosions continues to come. Ancestor Alice's white hair flying. This wave has already forced her side. Then the giant Giant General sees the opportunity to break through the formation and surround Alice. In front of the 1.5 meter tall Alice, there are 5 or 6 4.5 meter tall Terracotta Army Generals. Muhan sneered, it's over. Khan Jin Hyuk, this capture the king battle. I won. Khan Jin Hyuk's horse rushes straight into the enemy formation, facing dozens of high giant gods in front of him, majestic and oppressive. But little Khan in white dress fluttering, all the way with a musket with lightning. Muhan frowned, this guy, knowing this is a trap still rushes in like this, arrogantly raising his hand like a king. <laughs> Just look at your crown, hand it over to a little girl for safekeeping. I know this battle, there's nothing to look forward to. Alright, it's time to end, send you on your way. Muhan summoned a spell and two giant gods descended on the battlefield, respectively, the angry Ivedra and a plaster statue? Yes, you did not see wrong, it is indeed a western plaster statue. This guy even made a contemplative expression. <laughs> In this world, even humans with perfect body proportions portions don't exist. But Muhan found something wrong, because just when he felt that victory was in his grasp, Khan Jin Hyuk was still charging with his head down. Wait, he's laughing? Impossible. His queen is just a little girl. How can he be so confident? Time rewinds to before Khan Jin Hyuk charges. Alice gave her a white look. Hey, are you sure you're okay going by yourself? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ancestor, great. 
Is this your concern for me? Of course, you idiot, Alice said with a sneer. Muhan is not some kind of trash. He's the boss guarding the third level. Kang Jin Hyuk, however, didn't have a proper attitude. Oh, I heard it for the first time. The true ancestor praising someone else. You mean that guy is better than you? Idiot, how can you compare that pile of rocks to this king? A vampire of noble blood? <laughs> If I hadn't been banished to the corrupted corridor, how would I have signed a contract with you, an idiot human? That true ancestor, my behind is in your hands, right? The vampire true ancestor, wearing a crown, lifted his leg. Naturally, don't look at me now, but killing that pile of rocks is easy. Timeline pulls back to now. At this moment, a giant's own hand is approaching Alice. And Alice, raising her hand, Didi, blood ball skill has been activated. It seems that this king hasn't been in action for a long time. And in the next moment, all that blood magic turned into a sharp spear. Blood king skill, sharing ahead. No wisdom stone monster dares to be wild in front of this king. Death! So a magical scene appeared. Hundreds of fresh blood spears from a 1.5 meter small body. In a moment, they ruthlessly pierce through the surrounding stone people's bodies, blood shaping into blades. This is the privilege of the blood nobility. This is not over yet. In the eyes of that group of terracotta army giants, they saw an even more terrifying scene. Because that insignificant one, five meter girl now needed them to look up at her. Alice flew to the sky. Her hand had already condensed a terrifying bloody dragon roll. Dee Dee, blood burst skill has been activated. Blood flow, tender little hands constantly injecting magic. The head crown queen overlooking the people, lightly spitting out ruthless judgment food. Die! Whirls! And then crashing down, with a loud bang, blood mist exploded, the shockwave spread to the clouds, stone shattered, clay broken, and after everything calmed down, a high heel shoe lightly landed on the ruin. Silver-haired vampire true ancestor hung a little. Look, contract maker, this king is not vegetarian. Muhan people are all looking confused. What? This 1.5 meter girl, how could she have such a terrifying power? You're cheating! Kong Jin Hyuk laughed. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Muhan great person. My queen scared you. But your biggest mistake is not just this, but allowing me to enter your formation. He said, left hand stroking the night spear. Scarlet smoke spreading. It is a blood magic skill. Kong Jin Hyuk fused A-level item black maple leaf with S-level skill blood magic and got SS-level skill spiritual destruction. He attached the spiritual destruction to the night spear. In an instant, the gun body was dyed with strange purple light, and then raising the gun, shooting. At this moment, man and horse as one, under perfect golden rotation. The night spear was attached with the power to tear space, and then a spiral burst shot straight into the boundary, while purple spots also fell like rain and stained those terracotta army. In an instant, the eyes of terracotta army changed purple, spiritual destruction. Activated! This move was to cut off the connection between Boss Muhan and his army of 100,000. Even the three heads of the Furious Diamond also all turned deep purple. Buddha's body trembled as he looked at the thinker beside him. He had long been unhappy with this plaster sculpture. Whether it's a pure face or a good-looking abdominal muscles, die! With a bang, he pressed the face letting it wouldn't budge. Not only the two of them, but also the soldiers below stabbing each other with a spear and a knife opened a mutual injury mode. Only the highest giant Giant was not affected. Muhan, mentality exploded. No, my army, my strategy, were all dismantled by that insignificant human. How? How could this be possible? And just at this time, Little Khan spoke. Hey, earthbound spirit. He stood up from the horse's back, now without those own people subordinates. You show me that ugly face again. Skill activation, ice sculpture. In an instant, behind the giant, a huge ice mountain appeared out of nowhere. How? How could this be possible? The back was blocked. This human is a charged knight. How can he use magic? Khan Jin Hyuk raised his hand to summon an ice crystal longbow. Idiot, my true profession is a wizard. Now. You have entered my range. Muhan panicked. Quick, come and protect me. Stop him. The command of the giant. Left fist out to break the ice. Crushing towards Khan Jin Hyuk. Like a meteor falling. With a bang, it hit the ground. Suddenly people look up and horses roll over. Countless soldiers ascend to heaven. The horses fall down. Armor shattered. Khan Jin Hyuk's night squad was half destroyed in an instant. But what about him? I saw that he had already jumped to the top of the giant. Abandoned his horse. Right hand still holding a bow. Left hand condensed out a Sanskrit arrow made by mandala skills. That's right, this is the romantic of the archer. Next moment, draw the bow and string. Come on, Mohan. Come and taste this western ice magic and the eastern Buddhist shooter aesthetics. 
checkmate. In this fool of Minbawa light arrow, Muhan avoided being shot in the chest, and the next second the whole body burst with light. With a roar. Ah, I am unwilling. And then in a explosion sound that can break through the sky, blown into a golden fireworks. DD system prompt. You have killed the third level boss Muhan. The crown on top of Alice's head also disappeared with it. <laughs> Stupid human. You did pretty well. My contract should be like this. DD. The fourth level of the Tower of Trials has been opened. The remaining time to conquer the next level is 89 days. This news also shocked other players. Everyone was delighted, including Khan Jin Hyuk's supporting team of laborers. Of of course, also the leaders of the major guilds who entrusted them. Of course, also our long absent Saint Lady Teresa. The first season ends here. Thank you for your company all along. This is Manga Explained. I will continue to update more interesting comics. Follow me so you don't get lost. See you next time.